Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Today's release schedule is stupidly busy, but this one I have been looking forward to ever since it got announced. Kingdom, the group where their concept is entirely revolving around historical rulers. And as a history nerd myself, I absolutely love this group. Their music is great too, it's just an added bonus, but Kingdom are back with era number six revolving around Mujin, King of Cherry Blossoms. And of course their title track, Dystopia. There's a ha 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 I don't actually know what the Hangul is for, or the Hanja, for that matter. But the English title is titled Dystopia, and I'm so excited for it. Kingdom always delivers on their music, but also on the visuals and the storytelling, they are some of the best in the business. And I'm so tremendously excited. So, here we go. I have to make sure videos are in 4K today, because I've had a couple times where I started watching and videos stuck in like 480p, but Kingdom. Dystopia. I should probably read this book. A child born as a son of a king who goes to refuge after seeking, seeing his kingdom destroyed across the wide ocean. These people getting oppressed by the monsters. Oof. And it's a decent length song too. If there's no intro or outro, if there's a little one, this song could be anywhere in like three and a half to four minutes long. Which in this like current era music, that's a marathon in itself. But I'm not complaining. I'm going to enjoy the living daylights out of this. So here we go. Traditional instruments one time, okay. I love it already. Oh, I love, I love the traditional instrumentation in the background. They're not shying away from it. Switch it up with the low rap one time, okay. Hey, drop into it. Pretty subdued in terms of the chorus drop itself. Never mind. Two part chorus? Not mad at it. Ooh, and I love that little vocal around the end of that chorus. Hold off on the drop. Oh, and then straight into it. Okay. At the vocal shine one time. Good choice of the musical sounds going into the bridge. And again, really emphasizing the traditional instrumentation in the background. Oh, 
pick up the pace a little bit. Okay. Goosebumps. Oh, I have chills running down the back of my neck. Oh, and is this next era? Is that the teaser for the next era? Who's next? Wait, I don't know the members, so I don't know who's who. Is someone they always post about it? Kingdom of some Jahan. Okay. Oh, I can't, I actually can't stop my body from like involuntarily giving myself goosebumps. Like I have chills like consistently. It's like coming in waves. Oh, that was so cool. Oh, that was so cool. Oh, that was so cool. Have I said that enough? That was so cool. The thing about traditional instruments, what's in like the pop scene is that it is a combination that just works you can't read there feel free to correct me or provide examples of it but for me there has never been a bad use of traditional instruments in pop music full stop something about it gives this like extra bit of refinement to that song and with kingdom's dystopia it wasn't just giving the song a little bit of refinement. It was the entire instrumentation of the song. That's impressive. And I'm really, like, as a fan of stuff like that, I love that they went so heavily along the traditional instrumentation route. Because it really, I think, hammers home that kind of, like, historical aspect of Kingdom's concept really well. And I think it is, like... The primary driver for that concept is that traditional instrumentation usage, especially because this era is based around East Asian um, mythology or East Asian literature, East Asian history. By incorporating, you know, East Asian traditional instruments, it really does give an extra layer of depth into the concept that is on display. It's so good. It's so good. And the song, it starts off absolutely perfectly it was um we checked out uh what was it mamamoo plus's pre-release the other day and that started in a similar way where it was pansori i think is what it was called correct me if i'm wrong again but pansori like a traditional korean stage performance where it's a method of storytelling accompanied by a drum like a traditional drum Kingdom have kind of gone a similar direction where they've started their MV storytelling off of like, traditional historic art styles. And how they're like, they, again, it's another way of just hammering home that like East Asian, and in this case, Korean. I'm not familiar with like historical Korean like art and things like that. So, but you start off with the traditional art style in like a, an animated painting type of way, and then you immediately kick in the song with pure traditional instruments. There's nothing else here. Like you don't have any digital synths or any like Western brass instruments, Western string instruments, no 808s. It's just letting the traditional instruments do their thing to introduce the song. And I think that's so cool. Because now you've got a little bit of piano added on now. And now the song started. The song may have started and we've got, we're getting a little bit more modern stuff. Like we've got Nate away, we've got some modern synth kicks in there. But again, the emphasis on the background instrumental is still on the traditional instruments. 
it's still going. Typically, you know, if songs were to use it, it'd be kind of scattered around or like left to maybe one specific part of the song, like whether it's the pre-chorus or the chorus or the bridge or something like that. It'd be isolated into one particular part. Kingdom was just like, nah, let the, let the traditional instruments go kind of crazy. Go, go, just float on them with it and then keep going. One thing I... Oh. Who are you, sir, and what is your voice? Because, oh, that low voice is such a nice offset. But, actually, this is a good still to talk about Kingdom, and their group choreography has always been super impressive to me, whether it be Arthur literally getting stabbed with Excalibur in Ex the Excalibur film, or I call it film, the MV, where... It's like you physically see the background dancers kind of acting like the spirit of Arthur being stabbed and they just kind of like disperse and they're like showing off that he's been stabbed. And now it, in Kingdom's Dystopia, with this era, I don't know who the member is on screen, but like whenever a choreo in involving background dancers get involved, Kingdom are always so impressive to me. But also... <laughs> That low voice? Ooh. The way they hold off on that drop, they're stretching that out. And they're making you wait for it. It's kind of like in a storytelling way where you do have that like pregnant pause to build dramatic effect. They've done the exact same thing. They're treating this song in a way that's almost like a stage performance rather than a song. With the, l It's the very little details of how the song's been composed. And maybe that long pause isn't there in the studio album. But in the MV and the way they're treating the MV also as like almost like a stage performance or like a visual art. They're, they've rearranged or they might have, this might be in the original. I, again, I haven't listened to the studio version yet. They've arranged it in a way or it does add that dramatic flair to the MV as well as to the song itself. And that like parallel together is so important for a group with kind of like a visual reliant concept in a way. You, know, this, you could tell someone you know, fresh to kingdom that, oh, every era is based off of a historical ruler or a mythological ruler or something like that. And think, okay, oh, that's really cool. But if you didn't show them the MV, they wouldn't get it, I don't think. The visuals are so important for kingdom and their MVs, especially for their title tracks. And to, like, emphasize that they need to have a song that fits the visuals on screen. Like, these visuals are really impressive and all, but if you have, I don't know, like Nyanket in the background, it's obviously not going to work. The song and the video have to run in parallel with each other, and they've done such a good job with it. Not just having the music fit the what's going on on screen, but also how the music assists in like the dramaticness and what's happening on screen. It's exactly what the purpose of an OST is meant for, is to emphasize dramatic effect of happening on what's happening on screen. They've done a perfect job. Final point, this room is very familiar because I believe it's the exact same room that Monster X shot Rush Hour. Or at least one of the dancing scenes in Rush Hour. Admittedly, it was lit a little bit differently, but love the little parallels, stuff like that. We had Paradise Diner and that like kind of like prison door hallway in I Chillin' earlier. We've got the like grid lit up room and kingdom today lots of parallels to other groups and previous mvs i love seeing all that stuff but kingdom oh this was so much fun i love i love kingdom i think they're an underappreciated group when it especially when it comes to like doing kind of out there concepts in a way because this is admittedly i'm very biased because i love history i find history so fascinating so i love this i love this group 
and I really want to check out the album, but I don't have the time for it. There's six or seven videos going out today before, that's without an album listen, and I just do not have the time for it. Maybe on the weekend I might have some time to do an album listen, because I want to listen to the rest of this album. So if you're interested, keep your eyes peeled for that coming in the future. But so right now, that's it for me today. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy and want to see more channel like on is up there. You can find the back catalog of stuff I've watched in the past. Drop a subscription if you want to keep up to date with whenever I upload new videos. And if you want to watch another video of mine right away, YouTube recommends you watch that video down there. And until next time, bye-bye.